going on, everybody? So, Dory with TV. I'm back. It's your boy, Dorian Andrews, and I'm here to talk to you about Jesus is King. So, I haven't made a video in a while. As you can see, I got a little, little dirt under here. And, you know, winter is coming. So, uh, changed up a little bit. I woke up one day and I was like, oh my God, my facial hair is growing. Some of the kids in uh, the elementary school, they were like, no, shave it, shave it. <laughs> and then uh, junior high school, they were like, no, no, you know, that's really cool. Dodi Sensei, no, keep it, keep it. I decided to keep it, so we'll see how long I have this. But uh, if you don't like it, let me know, let me know down below in the comments. So today we're going to talk about Jesus is King, uh, the album that Kanye West just came out with recently. And I'm just going to go straight into it, every song. Uh, it's a very quick album, it's only like 26, 27 minutes. Uh, I forget exactly how long it is, but it's not long. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> so first thing, every hour, when I tell you that it's the perfect introduction for this album in Japan it's more based on Shintoism and Buddhism everything has a spirit or a god to it for me you know there's not really there's there's no church I haven't been to church in forever so when I heard this I was like oh my god it just brings me back to when I was in Baltimore when I was in Alabama growing up I, I, I loved it I loved it so much I made a remix <laughs> of it so I just added my own beats into it I'll put a link for that uh, in the video this song it, it, it means really short like maybe a minute 50 seconds I think like almost two minutes one thing I liked about it is it reminds me of when you're not exactly on time for Sunday service and uh, well you can hear the choir from the parking lot and you're going into the church and you can hear the loud choir just doing their thing and then the second track comes in and once you enter into the sanctuary, into the actual building of the church where everyone's doing praise and worship, that's when the second track comes in. And the second track is Salah. Salah. That's the name. Salah. So Salah was... It was good. It's not something with replay value, in my opinion. I personally do not gravitate towards this type of, like theatrical music because it, it does sound very theatrical so bottom line was Selah I like the Bible quotes he was putting in there and I like the drum beats he was putting in that really like just kind of took me off guard and I also like the the choir when they were building up into that big moment and then he comes right back in on that second verse and at the end he's just like whoop, 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 whoop. it was lit it was lit but with that being said, I'm not gonna play this song again because it's too theatrical, too dramatic for me. And I don't go to that on a daily basis, so. Sorry, I gotta keep it real with you. I gotta keep it real. Follow God, number three. Follow God is great. That is a great song. I was upset because it was so short. That song is literally like, maybe two minutes. It's definitely a minute and a half, but maybe two minutes. And it's, he's just, like doing the the same cadence throughout the whole thing and the beat is knocking and it sounds like life of pablo part two minus the cousin and when he's like 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 nah, 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 crazy, like nah, nah. and he's uh the one thing he keeps saying is arguing with my dad and he's telling me that i'm christ like so when i took that at first you know a lot of you know youtubers and articles are saying that he's talking about his father and he's talking about how he's having an argument with his father and his, uh, he's trying to give his father advice and his father's like attacking him and then or spazzing him and then he starts getting angry and then they start having an argument and then his dad says that that's not Christ-like and so he starts freaking out. But the thing I got from that song was it's not just him talking about his dad, like biologically. He's talking about his spiritual father with Jesus Christ. And with Jesus as king, he's like, look, I know you're king, but you know, I know myself and I know where I want to go in life and what I want to do. God, I know you love me, but I need this and I want to do this. And can you help me get to this? So 
He's saying that God's getting angry at him and telling him, no, don't do this. You don't need this. You don't want this. And, you know, Kanye's like, but I do want this and I do need this. I know you almighty and everything, but I, I, I'm not stupid, <laughs> you know? And God's telling him, like, look, you arguing back at me is not Christ-like. You should just say, yes, Lord, I'm going to do what you say. I thought that was a great song. Follow God is probably one of the best songs on there. Closed on Sunday. You're my Chick-fil-A. Then he says, you're my number one with the lemonade. How deep is that? Oh my gosh, terrible, 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 terrible. Build up in the beginning, like it's the, the guitars and the choir coming, do, 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 do. Like I felt so, oh, it was about to be good, it's about to be good. And when he said that closed on Sunday, I was like, and then the, the build up with the man, man, man. I was excited. I was like, oh, he's about to drop a V. He's about to drop a V. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. The end. On God. On God, I feel is okay. I don't like what he's talking about when he's talking about that's why I charge what I charge, like at my concerts or at the Sunday service or whatever. Bruh, you charging shirts for like. How much? Like 60 bucks, 80 bucks? Like, bruh, bruh, told me something I can't let my children starve. Your children ain't gonna starve. You're Kanye West. And you're married to Kim Kardashian. That's like a double. Come, come on, man. You are on the, what, Forbes list or whatever list of, you know, the most successful rappers or music artists of the year. Bruh, on your Yeezys alone, you're making millions. So. And I starve it. I don't believe that. Cadence was very dull. And then you remember, then you remember, ah, like, okay. The beat was great, and the music, the, the instrumental that he made, all so great. Wasted on his bars. Everything we need, great song. I love Ty Dolla Sign's uh, harmonies. I like. And Clemens, because this was originally a song that had XXX in it from the Yandi leak. Um, and I liked uh, Ann Clemens' uh, high pitched voice. I liked Kanye's. I liked both verses from Kanye, actually. They were really good. Only problem I, I have with the song is that it, it's not long enough. If he's only going to have two verses and they were that short, he should have had. At the end, maybe the choir come in and then, you know, do the uh, chorus with Ty Dolla Sign vocals together to just make it a little bit longer, maybe like three minutes, because it's literally like maybe two minutes, maybe two minutes, but it's a good song. I personally like the Yandi version better with XXX in it, but it's okay. Water, water's a vibe, water's a vibe. If you're in a mellow mood, Play that song it's really really nice and even though i didn't like kanye west rap because it really wasn't a rap it was just kind of it felt like an interlude a long interlude and he really didn't add anything to the song but one thing i will say is i do like the fact that his rap was almost like a prayer so for people who aren't really into christianity or people who are christians and want to add this to their playlist, their Christian playlist. This is a good song. Just imagine people who aren't Christians. They don't know anything about I will be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And they don't know about all these different you know, prayers that we have that have been passed down from generations in the Christian community. So if they hear a Kanye West song and he's just saying, Jesus, be our help, Jesus, you know, like he's just asking Jesus to do these things for him. Like other people are gonna be like, you know what? I can say that to myself every day. And I can listen to this song and I can repeat what he's saying because people love to remember rap lyrics. And for this, it's beautiful because people could wake up in the morning and say, hey, this is what I'm gonna say to make sure I have a good day. It's not something to listen to every day, but it's a vibe. God is. God is not this. I don't like his vocals. I don't like something in his throat. I don't know why he didn't re-record that. I thought it was gonna be like a banger, like 
because you had the really smooth gospel intro and the woman's vocals was great. And then all of a sudden he comes in and messes it all up. And it's just, uh, praise the Lord. I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. It's like that one person who really thinks they can sing on the praise team and they finally get their solo and everybody's looking like, why did they do this? Why did they, oh, they did this out of pity. They gave that woman, they gave that man the solo out of pity because they was gonna leave the praise team or the choir if they didn't get it. Because they've been complaining for the longest time. That's how I felt. And it was hands on. Probably my favorite song from the whole album. When I have heard Fred Hammond, literally my jaw dropped like, because I didn't know <laughs> that he was in the song. Because I didn't read the actual features in the album before I listened to it on YouTube. And um, I loved it. I loved every minute of it. I love how he's repeating the same thing. Like, you know, what you been hearing from the Christians? Oh, they'll be the first ones to judge me. Everyone can relate to that. You know, even people who aren't Christian, like Christians love to judge people. The vocals remind me of Dark Twisted Fantasy, a little bit of Yeezus in there, the way that he did his vocals. Fred Hammond, cute. And I love what Connie's talking about. It's like the first song that I feel he's opening up about his life and where he is right now. And it sounds like it's a place that everybody can relate to. And I'm really hoping that he puts out more music like this. Use this gospel, I'm gonna be honest, didn't care about this song that much because the Yandi version, the leak, was 10 times better. Law of Attraction is what it was called on the Yandi leak. I listen to that to this day. It's so good. I will say the clips, it's great to see them come back. I didn't really grow up on the clips. I didn't care about them like that. I love Justin Timberlake, so I know the clips did a song with Justin Timberlake. And uh, I'm just not into drug music and whatever, you know, that's all they talked about, so. Um, but I know that Malice changed his name to No Malice and he's done music with like Lecrae and some Christian rappers, so I, have, I do know about No Malice. Pusha T, obviously with the Drake thing, I knew about Pusha T from that. I knew about Pusha T before that when he first got with Kanye West and good music. Venture. Personally didn't like the way that it was mastered or mixed because the Pusha T verse was a little off from the beat so or lack thereof but it just didn't sound like it was mixed right like he was rapping like kind of all off the beat and Kenny G at the end oh my god beautiful 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 if you get a chance to see the live performance it's even better Kenny G just oh he like it had me it, it it sounded a little bit like this is for my nerds it sounded a little bit like street fighter 2 the animated movie that's what it sounded like to me and it was just beautiful i was like Ooh. and then at the end it was really good with the the beat that came in the first like that was nice but i wish that beat was in there the whole time law of attraction the yandi version of it way better. Kanye sounded great on the Yandi Leak. Definitely take a listen to it. It's better. The alarm, the, the car sound was really creative. But that's about it. Jesus is Lord. He's literally just saying, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. Jesus is Lord. And we've heard that before. It's cool. I like the horns. I like the horns. But it was literally 50 seconds. Like he did nothing with it. It was about the end. Overall, this album is kind of disappointing because I listened to the Yandi leak. And when I first listened to Yandi, I was like, when I listened to Law of Attraction, he's like, money ain't real, time ain't real, money ain't real, time ain't real. I was like, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, that's right. When I heard Use This Gospel, when he changed it up, it was just, it didn't have the same feeling. It was just like, Okay, XXX being on the Stormy Night song, which is the version of Everything We Need from the Yandi leak. He brought an extra something to that song. It just, it hit me. And Everything We Need is just like, it's cool. And then it just 
fades super quickly. Overall, the album is just kind of, man, I'm not going back to it. I've been listening to Late Registration, which is my favorite, for the past week now. And now I'm listening to my beautiful, dark, twisted fantasy because at this point, I'm giving up. We're not going to get another good Kanye album, I feel like. I, I hope I get to eat my words someday. But right now, I don't see it happening. Three out of ten. One for the Father, one for the Son, one for the Holy Spirit. I'm not going back to it. Every song that was so good made me angry because it ended in like two seconds. The, the Yandi lyric was better. Songs I'm going to take away from this. Hands on. Number one, my favorite. Two, Follow God. Great song. Three, is there a three? Maybe every hour. <laughs> All right, that's the video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of my music reviews. And until then, I'll see you next time.